Kim Kardashian's unfiltered interaction and recently leaked documentary dating back to 2018 with her then husband Kanye West has garnered attention. Be that type of shit where it's like a Floyd Mayweather could never have that. You know what I mean? Like and and be that and be the champion of the world. Kim Kardashian begs and tries to get Kanye West to get back on his meds, and this goes down in some new leaked footage from a documentary. The clip also revealed that Kanye West also begged Kim to support him more rather than judging and criticizing him. You as my wife, when I'm pumping myself up, I would just love it if you're like, yes, babe, that's for, yeah, you the shit. When we get deeper into the clip, it appears that his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, has been urging him to get help for years. And this is something that she's brought up on multiple occasions. That'd be that type of shit where it's like, a Floyd Mayweather could never have that, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, beat every, and be the champion of the world. This video though, is of a documentary that was made in 2018, and it has come back into the spotlight. And in this particular clip, Kim is heard talking to Kanye West about taking his medication. It's crazy helpful. Like, how is that new medication, like that other medication? What if one day, like, you thought all your options were what you feel like that? The clip shows Kanye West on the phone talking to Kim, and during the call, he asks Kim to support him publicly instead of criticizing him for his outbursts and calling him names like narcissistic. Instead of when I like have to like stand up for myself, you'd be like, why do you sound like that? You're narcissistic. It's just like. And then he tells Kim that he needs her encouragement, not criticism. Like he literally says, you know, I need to be bigged up, not torn down. Like fucking pumping up, you know what I mean? That like putting yeah. down. No, I totally get it. I mean, you should work on it. And later in the conversation, that's when Kim challenges Kanye by bringing up the topic of medication. And it seems like this is a subject that the family has talked about with him before, given the way that she starts to talk about it. Like Kim is heard over the phone saying things like, I think it could be helpful if you take that other medication. I know that you're never gonna be on it, but what if it started happening? Um, loving the idea of a licensing deal. Like, I, I don't want the responsibility. You know, things like that, and the call is a little bit muffled, so it's really hard to make out what Kim is saying, but she's clearly trying to convince him to take some meds, but at the same time, it sounds like she's kind of given up because it doesn't seem like he's actually listening. At one point in the conversation, Kim did suggest that Kanye reach out to a doctor that they both knew, but it seemed like the idea didn't really register with Kanye. It was kind of just brushed to the side. Now, I like licensing deals sometimes too. Like Adidas is a licensing deal. I'd be fine to do all licensing deals and shit. And that particular clip ended with Kanye referring to both their marriage and life as a game and it being fun to him. Marriage is, you know, I think it's fun. It's like a it's like a game. Life is a game and it's So maybe he wasn't really taking medication seriously. Maybe he didn't really think that he needed them. But either way, rumors about Kanye's hesitance to take medication have circulated for years despite his public acknowledgement of actually suffering from bipolar disorder. Kim eventually did file for divorce in 2021, which was finalized in 2022. However, Kanye's behavior seemed to have intensified after their separation. We saw the whole thing with Pete Davidson and his public rants on Twitter and social media. And it's been said that him not taking his medication as he promised was a big factor with Kim filing for divorce. Kanye West has since moved on though and he's been vacationing in Italy and other parts of the world with his current wife, Bianca Sensori, who's reportedly helping him to launch a career comeback after he was canceled back in 2022 for making some very offensive comments and that ended a collaboration deal that he had with Adidas. Despite legal issues though, Kanye West and Bianca continue their provocative fashion show publicly and recently Italian didn't like it like they are calling for them to be punished by the law for indecent exposure in public but on the flip side many Italians and other people in different countries are actually now embracing Kanye West and Bianca Sensori's public fashion show and reports are saying now that this is more of a publicity stunt than anything because as they say even bad publicity is actually good publicity and this will help him when he launches new albums as well as new clothing because people are talking about him anyway, so that's a good thing. But guys, I really wanna know what you gotta say about this. Like, do you think Kanye West needs medication 
Or do you think that Kim, as well as other people, were just kind of being a little bit too harsh on him and kind of trying to medicate him so that he can not say what he needed to say? Again, he did admit to being bipolar and that can be treated with medication. And it is not specified in the clip what medication they were actually talking about. So maybe it was something else other than the bipolar medication. So that's also another point to consider too, where they just trying to over medicate Kanye West. All right guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. But if you haven't done so already, follow me here on FTD News. I post videos daily and you don't wanna miss any of them. Stay awesome guys, boom.